Next, I've been waiting for this one. A TV scientist who helped kids think of new ways to learn. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the one of my favorite guys, Bill Nye the Science Guy. His show was a huge hit in the 90s. And now Bill Nye is in the news again for what he said about parents and what they ought to teach their kids about the origins of the universe. And I say to the grown-ups, if you want to deny evolution and live in your in your uh, world that's completely inconsistent with everything we observe in the universe, that's fine. But don't make your kids do it, because we need them. We need scientifically literate voters and taxpayers. Now that video future. has received nearly five million hits on wow. YouTube. And guess what? Bill Nye joining us right now, live from New York. Uh, Bill, we're thrilled to have you. We'll talk about your new website in a minute because I love what you're doing. But this controversy, you sort of entered into it willingly. And I want to ask you out of the gate, what do you say to parents who say, you have no business telling me what I should teach my own kid. That's my own issue. Uh, no, the real issue is what do we use tax dollars intended for science education to teach? Okay, so we, uh, we can show scientifically very easily that the Earth is about four and a half billion years old. The Earth is not six or 10,000 years old. That's, that's just wrong. So uh, in this, when I was asked about this, and that, that was the, sort of the tail end of the paragraph, uh, it's inappropriate to use tax dollars intended for teaching science to teach things which are not true unless you're going to uh, teach them as the idea this is what people used to believe, this is scientifically historical, historic science. Uh, sure. Uh, people once believed that the earth was flat. People once believed that the sun went around the earth and those models, as they're called, work okay. But you can prove that the Earth is not flat. You can prove that the Earth goes around the sun, not the other way around. And similarly, we can show that the Earth is not 10,000 years old. Were you surprised you can't at use, all? You can't teach that as an alternative to what the discoveries right. made through our, by our ancestors over the last few centuries. Were That's you surprised at all by the reaction you got? Because boy, it blew up on the internet with a lot of really mad parents. Did that surprise you? Uh, yeah, because I did that, uh, I recorded that, I think it was as long ago as February, and it languished on the internet as for it many does months. On the internet, and then, yeah. uh, I guess the nature of exponential growth, it took off. But I mean, you guys, the Earth's not 10,000 years old. I mean, it's not. We can't use tax dollars to teach that as some sort of scientific truth. It's, it's not. Bill, I want to get so, to your experiments in a second. One final question for you. A lot of critics, I think, whether it's global warming or evolution, assume that scientists have an agenda, that you're being political when you talk about global warming or evolution. How would you counter that? Uh, well, global warming is scientifically provable fact and of deep concern. Uh, and so is evolution. Evolution is the reason we're all here. Evolution was discovered uh, back in the 19th century. It wasn't something people made up. The, as I have mentioned a few times, the United States is unique this way in having such a large population of people who depend on our technological expertise, depend on our innovators. Like we're talking on television right now right. across an entire continent. Sure. We depend on that, and yet uh, they're troubled by, by other things that we discover through the same process, this process of science. Well, Bill, Evolution, I everybody, is, is a fact. I mean, we're not making this up. Global warming is uh, a fact, a troubling one. I and have so, to say, Bill, uh, I'm sorry, we're bear short. Bear in mind Go ahead. that scientific uncertainty isn't the same as scientific as doubt, as throwing out the whole idea. Right. And there's been a cadre of people working very hard to confuse the issue, and most of those people have been working for the oil, gas, and coal industry, who want to maintain the status quo as long as they can, nominally, without really much regard to the facts or the future, and it's troubling, it's troubling. Bill, I gotta say, whether folks agree with you or not, I do have to applaud your courage for taking a bold stand and saying what you believe. I respect you for doing that. Now let's lighten things up, because well, we're a light show. it's not just what I believe. The Earth is not 10,000 years old. It's not, you can't, you can't. Science has proven else. it. Science <laughs> is the answer. Yeah, but everybody has a right to what they want to believe and what they yeah, choose to believe. Yeah, but they don't believe. have a right to use tax dollars intended for science education to teach something that is patently untrue. Yeah, but as a parent, right? I want my kids to yeah. believe 
what I believe. So let's end that discussion and let's move on to what you're talking okay. about today with education. What are you going to tell us about that? So, 